Hey, how's it going, folks? Uh, we got this. Check this out. We got uh, this power feed added onto a traditional Amco brake lathe. This baby works bitchin'. It's got power feed in both directions. It's got variable speed. This full boogie button is really nice. It's got a limit switch for the inside. If it's, if it's got clutches, so if you crash it into something it, while you're cutting, it, it won't hurt anything. Unlike that gearbox, where if you make a mistake with this or the spit or the uh, carriage lock, you'll break the shear gear. <clears throat> this one just has a set of clutches that slip at like 90 inch pounds, I think. On it. Yeah, it was 90 inch pounds, which is just what I want. I don't need any more load than that on the rest of the machine. It has variable speed, so we could turn it down to cut even these huge rotors. Like this one right here is just under 14 inches. This is slower than you're ever gonna need to go. Um, this is a ridiculously slow uh, feed rate. <clears throat> we'll probably be something more along. That's probably as fast as you'd ever need to go. If you were using round tool bits, you probably would want to be up around here to do round tool bits in one pass. Um, it's just a, a better, more efficient way it's kind of like an upgrade from a regular 1950 screwdriver to a modern screw gun. Um, you just can't compare the performance of this unit with this. This is dated. It's, it doesn't have the right RPMs for these giant rotors that we're seeing today. And the rotors are only going to get bigger, guys. Um, so as, as hard as it is to get this thing to cut rotors now, it's only going to get harder for them. Whereas this, this is already going to go much, much larger. Anyway, thanks for your time. Um, check it out. Check out our website.